Bowtie Dales, and welcome back to another episode on the Wirecraft Season 2 server. In our last episode, we went ahead and started working on our one chunk farms, and we dug this giant hole as well as working on this creeper farm uh, that's right here below me. We also made the item transportation up to the top, which, uh, if I take my fireworks and launch up here, there we go. If my, yep, sometimes it doesn't like to always work on here when flying around with rockets. That's pretty typical for a lot of servers, actually. So yeah, the item transportation comes all the way up here and loads off into these chests. Now, I haven't spent a lot of time going AFK or anything um, since the last episode. I've been busy with other things, but we've uh, gotten a, a what, huh? that's more than I was actually expecting in here. So that's, uh, that's pretty great. So yeah, we've gotten almost two full double chests now of gunpowder, and we have more coming in right now as we speak. So that's pretty awesome. So in today's episode, what I want to work on is making some more farms down here. So I'm going to start work on some villager farms, and I'm going to be doing, um, it's going to be carrot, potato, wheat, and then I might do a beetroot farm. So I got all my materials basically uh, taken care of. I needed some gold. I got some stone in here. Uh, I need the crops to make everything and the dirt as well as some redstone. So that should be good. Uh, now, one other thing to go over are my chunk borders. So this is slightly larger than a chunk. Uh, and that's because a chunk is 16 by 16. And the farm I'm going to be making is 15 by 15, not including the walls. So with the walls, the farm becomes 17 by 17. So I had to extend it out one uh, in each direction of the chunk. So there we go. So the first thing I need to go ahead and do is actually set my stuff down and start laying down some dirt. Is that my dirt? No. Uh, which block box is it? It's this one here. Okay, so there we go. Let's grab a couple stacks here. Knock out these chests. I can take off my chunk borders. I don't need them anymore and get rid of some of these torches. Now, <laughs> I had a little bit of an accident before. I prepared the area and then flew off to grab some more resources that I needed and forgot about it. And when I came back, there were creepers and we blew up some stuff down there, but I got that all cleaned up and taken care of now. So all I need to do is just start lining this all up with dirt and everything's gonna be coming over to this point right here where we're gonna have a dispenser coming into the water stream and that's going to cause some problems with uh, flooding and stuff but we'll figure that out uh, once we get there and I'm going to get there relatively quick because I want to have that taken care of uh, before I get all this farm set up and in place and taken care of and that is going to be a little bit dangerous to do because I think I got to go through the ceiling here um, and that's going to go right into our creeper farm so maybe I should actually raise this up I think we'll be okay, because I want to conserve as much space as I can here. Uh, yeah, let, let's see how that's going to work out. Let's take out our shulker box. Throw this down, get our hoppers, as well as our... Where are my droppers? I thought I had droppers. Um, I don't know where I left my droppers. Hopefully... Oops. Hopefully they didn't die in the creeper explosion when I died and got killed, because that would be just a bunch of sadness. Really? No droppers? Okay, I gotta go find my droppers and then we'll come back here. Found my droppers. I forgot I made a um, nano farm earlier so I can get enough supplies for this episode. So yeah, there we go. So I actually need to go ahead and make some more droppers for each of the uh, the item outputs for the uh, the farm. Okay, I really wish I thought about these things before I started building this farm because that was a bit more complicated than it probably needed to be. Um, I could have probably just put a block up above to prevent me from going up the water stream, but then that would probably break the source block and cause problems and I'd have to go ahead and turn that all into a source again and I didn't feel like going through that trouble so I guess the best way to do it is to break some glass here go around on the other side break some glass and uh, just place in the dropper that way and that that seems to be going okay for uh, 
for now at least. And now I gotta go ahead and put in the hoppers just going into this line right here. So what's the, the center point of all of this? It looks to be um, roughly here. Oh, you know what? I didn't double check something. I didn't double check that this is actually the center of this area and it looks like it might not be. Let's let's double check and count this out here. We got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that should have been number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, that's that's not how I wanted this to go. Great, let me check these chunk boundaries again. Maybe I can move things over. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. I meant to have this dirt over one, so that's not a big deal. That shouldn't be a problem. I can just get rid of one on this side and move it over to that side. Okay, I got that figured out now, and then this should be going back eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this right here is the middle, <clears throat> excuse me, middle of the uh, the farm, which is very important because this is where we need to put a hopper minecart, which I gotta go actually make up real quick because I don't have any minecarts. So we just do that and then we can combine those together and fantastic, we just throw that right there. Great, now we just got to push uh, some dirt into this hopper. So that dirt's gonna go right there. Oh, I just realized I do need to bring this farm up another layer. I said I was gonna break through the uh, the floor below and I definitely did not do that. All right, that's not a problem. That will be easy to fix, oh well. There we go, so that can get broken, that gets broken. And yeah, this has just not been my day. I've actually tried recording this episode several times and uh, for some reason I just couldn't get focused and do things properly. Let's try that again. Helps if the rail's not there. And there we go. So we got the block into the minecart hopper, so that's perfect. And we gotta dig up this dirt and bring it up a level and then we're good to go. Well, that was smart. <laughs> I placed down um, all the dirt. And then I went to go set up my shulker boxes again so I can work on this next layer. <laughs> and I happened to pick the exact middle of the uh, the farm, so I'm like, why is everything being emptied away? Yeah. Yep, it started uh, uh, sucking up my, my shulker box. I don't know which one it's in now. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and dig this all up. Oh, I didn't want to dig that one up. All right, I got to do that over again. I should have just been patient and it would have all uh, come out eventually. Where is it? There it is. So yeah, I gotta fix that again. That's okay. Ugh, man, I <laughs> like I said, I said before, I was not doing very good today. I was making lots of mistakes and I just, I don't know, I'm not very focused, I guess. My mind uh, isn't entirely on all this stuff today. All right, so let's actually break this one because I want to be able to place in right there and there. Get rid of that dirt and we'll do the piston again. So if I come down here, that's why I left this block empty. I can now power this piston and get it pushed back into the minecart. Perfect. There we go. Let's not place our boxes on top of the center block again. So we don't need the dirt, we need the stone. Stone and crops, that's also what we'll need. Um, and I don't think, oh yeah, we'll need the glass as well for the, uh, the walls. So I can go ahead and start working on this layer now. There we go, so I almost put this together without um, finishing the dropper system, so now, if I were to throw in, say, random piece of glass roughly right there. Should go through into the dispenser or dropper and shot up. There we go. Perfect. So that takes care of that. Now I got to turn uh, all this into farmland. I got to put in the water in the appropriate spots. 
and start planting the crops. Now the last thing I'm going to do is get the villagers in here because I actually don't think I have enough farmers and the farmers that I do have, I don't know if, um, if they're going to have the proper inventory space to do this because we may run into an issue where uh, one of the farmers that I already have would already have um, uh, carrots in their inventory. Whoops, I did not mean to break that right then and there. We'll just hop up like that. That'll be okay. I meant to do one, two, three, four. And then right here is going to be a stair. Oh, that's going to bother me. I got to get this stuff now. Oh, I hate being like this where I have to have to get everything that I dropped. I can't just leave something. It's it's just like a weird um, OCD thing that I have. So thankfully I can just enter Pearl back up and be okay. So now if I throw in a stair, if I can throw in the stair the right way. Oh, jeez. I, I, I gotta get it. Gotta get it. All right, now if I put in the stair the right way, perfect. I can waterlog this stair and that'll start taking care of the hydration for all the land. So again, that's just coming in one, two, three, four, and then this block here um, will be the stair for water. One, two, one, two, three, four, this block. And this is an awesome thing about uh, 113, two, three, four, is being able to waterlog stairs and have that count as a water source for hydrating farmland. And that's especially good for the farms where you have to use the, uh, uh, the minecart to pick up items. Uh, cause now that means the farm can be one layer, uh, um, shorter. You don't have to take up as much space and you can pack things down just a little bit. So now I gotta go back up top and get some water because I wasn't smart enough to have that prepared before coming down here. So let's go ahead and let's take out these buckets and we'll get as much water as we can. So now it's time to go ahead and till up the land. I decided if I'm gonna do this much tilling, I might as well do it in style and do it with a diamond hoe. I uh, almost forgot to do something very important here and that was put in the, uh, the whole thing that's gonna make this farm work. <laughs> yeah, that could have been bad if I didn't do that. Uh, now this is a little bit tricky because I actually need to be able to put in a piece of this redstone from below so I can get the observer facing the right way. Um, which means I have to go down a layer into this farm and hopefully not run into any creeper. Oh God. What happened? Why was that creeper there? That creeper was in the wrong spot. You were supposed to be there, cat. I gotta check the rest of this farm now and figure out what happened, and then I gotta fix everything. Great, I'm just checking out all the farms here. Um, and each of the cats have moved out of their their spots. So that's going to be fun to fix all of that and hopefully I won't get any creeper spawns. Ugh. Well, the fun continues. Um, I'm pretty sure I came up here to drop off some supplies and I think, let's see, yeah, I think these two cats are from the farm down below and they've come up here. So that's really annoying. <sighs> See, this is what I mean that today has not been a good day for me. I have no words. <laughs> that dumb cat just walked off the ledge into the water stream. Oh. Yeah, I gotta get another cat. Gotta get another cat down here. Oh, finally, I got another one in here. Just get into, don't, 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 don't. Just get into your space. That's, that's all I want. Can I, can you please just get into your space? Just right there. That's 
all you gotta do is get in there. I did not think I'd be doing any work on the creeper farm today. Get, oh no. Just, just, just stay inside this block right there. And right, don't, don't sit on that trap door either. Okay, close all of this in. This cat is safe and secure. They're all safe and secure. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we got the observer in. And this should be okay now. We can take another observer and put it this way. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Welcome back. I, I had to step away from a bit and uh, take a break here. The game was just frustrating me today. Had several problems, several issues that were just not making things better. And like I said before, today's just been one of those days for me where everything just bothers me or it just gives me a hard time or, or, or something and it's just been challenging. And it's good to step away and deal with things. So I have this problem here which is triggering the trap door if I were to open this up right below me. And after taking a break, stepping away from it, I realized all I had to do was that. That fixes the problem. There, there is no issue anymore. I was getting frustrated and upset and annoyed over something that was that easy to fix. And, you know, it's, it's okay to get frustrated and upset and annoyed at things sometimes, even if they are small and trivial and not really a big deal like what just happened here. The important thing is just to give yourself some time, let yourself recollect and come at it at a different way and you'll find a solution and and everything is better now I was thinking I was gonna have to change designs or rebuild this whole layer I don't it's good everything is good everything is okay I figured it out so now that I think I'm in a better state of mind yeah I don't care I just trampled that dirt whatever um, let's go ahead and continue working on this. I got to put on the second layer of glass here. I got to put on a roof, install the lights, and then I got to replicate this design another time for the, whether it's pay, uh, potatoes or carrots, I don't know which level's going to be which. And then I got to do the wheat and the beetroots. So let's get going. So there we go. We got the first layer for potatoes done. I had to add in some extra lighting for spots like here in the corners. For some reason, the light wasn't enough. Although on my testing, it was enough. I don't. I don't know why I'm having problems now on uh, on the server. So that's weird. And as you can see, um, oh, I missed a spot there. Okay. So as you can see, if I try to place any crops here, like I'm, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm I'm, I'm clicking. And I'm clicking so hard to try and make you hear it that my mouse is shaking. I can't place any crops here, but a villager is going to be able to put a crop in there. So I can plant there just fine. Everywhere else I can plant except for this one spot. And right below here is where we have the hopper uh, minecart. And I started putting in the ceiling as well for the next level. So I'm good to go ahead and close this all off here. And eventually I need to come back and put a villager in. Uh, but that's going to be one of the last things I do, uh, as I mentioned before, I don't think I have some good clean um, villagers, and it feels really weird saying a clean villager, but uh, <laughs> what I mean is a villager that doesn't have uh, any any crops already in its inventory. So I put in, say, a villager with carrots in its inventory to the potato section, uh, then they're going to slowly replant the potatoes with carrots and that's going to end up ruining uh, the the outputs of the uh, the farm and that's no good we don't want that so you got to make sure that you get villagers that are 100% clean empty inventories so you can fill them up with exactly what you want and not have to worry about any of the crops being uh, messed up uh, by their inventories being replaced with uh, the uh, the wrong crop for that particular farm. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to recreate this again here for the carrots because I got potatoes down below. So I'll zoom through this. I'll catch up with you once it's done. Okay, so after doing a bunch of work here, I got all the rails laid down. I also went ahead and uh, started our uh, minecart, hopper minecart unloading center. So the minecart will go through, pick up everything, stop off over here, unload. And then anything that is a seed, I got to take care of this endermite down here. Um, whoops, what did I just break? That was a comparator. We'll, uh, we'll come down here and then seeds will get filtered into this item filter. They'll go into this dropper and they'll be shot off. But right now, uh, they're just getting shot down below, but uh, I'll end up putting some lava into that and uh, getting rid of them properly. So that's the progress of the farm so far. And let's hop back up here. Now, the next thing I need to do is eat some chicken because my health is starting to go down. Fantastic. And I got to put in another layer of the stone. What is this called? Smooth stone? Yeah, smooth stone. Um, and a layer of dirt. Plant up all the wheat. Put in the glass. Complete that. And then build it one more time up above that for uh, for the beet root. So this is going pretty well now. Uh Things were definitely a pain earlier, but we're having a much smoother experience now, so I'm happy about that. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and finish this up, and I will catch up with you when everything is done. Okay, so there we have it. We got all the redstone in place. We got all the beetroot planted, and all that's left to do is to close up this corner of the farm, and we are all set. Now, there is one other thing that I need to do that is important, and that is getting four villagers down here. Uh, I, I don't have the time to get those in today, and villagers are pretty frustrating to work with, considering that I've already been uh, having a tough day. Um, I, I, I don't really want to deal with that today. Uh, I'm going to save that for another day when I'm in a little bit of a better mood. Um, I, I have anxiety problems, and that was just really all over the place today, which is what made things so difficult and so challenging for me today is, is just going through and having that experience. Uh, now, I'm not getting too many things in here, but that, that is nice to see that we've gotten a decent amount of uh, gunpowder without even being outside of the low distance. So if we stay up here, we should start seeing some come in now. There we go. Perfect. Uh, and, and yeah, I've tested pretty much everything to make sure that we're all loading and coming in just fine. So there shouldn't be any problems or issues with that now. I could go back down into the farms and manually do some of that stuff. But uh, like I said, it's getting kind of late for me. Uh, this is much later than I normally record. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up just right here. So if you guys have enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. And leave a comment and if for nothing else just say something nice because it's been a rough day for me all right and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button until next time guys this is bowtie peace out hey what do you know i got this exit to finally work yay wow.